So this is our Panther Chameleon Sherbert. And uh, he's had his eyes closed the last couple of days. So I brought him to the vet yesterday. He, uh, or she checked him out. And she said that everything looked good. There's no MBD, which is metabolic bone disease. Well, she checked out her bone, his, his bones, you know, and his, and his arms and everything. And everything was fine. But he had a little sore right on the side of his, his stomach over here. Yeah, and uh, I'll pull them out in a minute here. And I gotta give him some antibiotics, some oral antibiotics. So I got my two assistants here, Olivia and Sophia. And me. <laughs> Behind a cage. <laughs> <laughs> and they're gonna help me give this guy some antibiotics. So you guys can check that out. But yeah. just uh, I mean, sometimes you gotta take the uh, come on, baby. Sometimes you gotta take the the pets to the vet. If you think something's wrong, don't wait because especially with chameleons and sometimes reptiles in general, their health could go downhill real quick. So he's actually still doing real good and everything. He's just got some antibiotics to take, and the doctor wants to see his weight up. But uh, that's about it. You should especially take him to the vet when his eyes are sunk in. Well, yeah. If his if the chameleon for chameleons, if his eyes are sunk in, that's a, a sure sign that something's wrong. But um, chameleons should not have their eyes closed during the day. They should be pretty active and stuff like that, at least be looking around. So that's another sure sign. But this was going on for probably about a week or two. So I just figured to get them into the vet. So we're going to put uh, get some antibiotics in them. I'll be right back. This is the sore. The vet said I have some antibiotic ointment on there. The vet said that... Uh, it might have been from a cricket or maybe it fell but when she checked out the bones she did like this and you know checked out all the legs and everything and we weighed him and she did it seemed like a pretty thorough examination so we're going to give him some antibiotics now and uh he's not going like that but it has to be done Come on, buddy. Yeah. One more. He's got his teeth. Come on, buddy. Okay. Yeah. He's a purple so that, tongue. Okay, just hold him regular now. So that's all it was. So it was just a little, little push of the syringe. And it only has a very little. I mean, it's just a few drops. But that's all the chameleon needs. So I got 14. Now he's puffing up. Pretty yeah, he's not happy right now. So I got 14 uh, doses for him, I guess. And, uh, see, that side's fine. It's this side. Here, that's got the bruise. Yeah, it's straight. So, I don't know. He might have fell. It might be from a cricket. But, we got some, we put the, the triple antibiotic ointment on the side here. And then, uh, we have the antibiotics for him for two weeks. And the doctor says that he should be fine after, you know, after about a week. So I just wanted to show you guys how to give the chameleon some medicine and uh, a couple of tips on what to look for if your chameleon's not feeling good. Eyes are closed, definitely get them in there as soon as you can because the health can deteriorate real fast. So uh, don't forget to like and subscribe, right? <laughs> and put on post notifications. <laughs> That's right, right? All right. <laughs> I have nothing to add. Nothing? No. Wait, wait, watch I, more videos. <laughs> I have something to add. What? When these guys, and they, you see that little strip? When yeah. that turns white, that means that they're very uncomfortable. Yeah. It was something. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Something. See you guys later. <laughs> Bye.